What is the highest damage game that you have ever dropped? 1,000 damage? 2,000 damage? 3,000 damage? Maybe you went absolutely god mode and dropped a 4,000 damage game. Well, today we're taking it a step above that. Actually, we're actually gonna be taking it quite a few steps above that. And we're gonna be reviewing It's Timmy's 9,000 damage game. Absolutely mind boggling. If I'm not mistaken, this actually might be the world record for Apex Trios. We're gonna be breaking down what Timmy's doing, why Timmy's doing that, and what you should be doing if you wanna be dropping consistent high damage games. Let's get into it. Now, like I said, it's Timmy dropped a 9,069 damage game with a 24 kill um, on top of that. And as you can see, his teammates were virtually useless. One kill by Duck Go Quack and four kills by Dink. It's Timmy is literally the definition of a backpack. If you go in the dictionary right now and you look at backpack, his face is gonna be right next to it. Now, something that we need to cover just before we actually do start talking about this game and we start watching it from the very beginning. Back in the day, years ago with Apex matchmaking, it didn't matter what level, what rank, or whatever you were, you just played against everybody. Kind of like in the OG COD days where you load into a game and you could have a couple like insanely good players and you could have just a whole bunch of like really shitty little kids who got Call of Duty for the first time for Christmas, right? In Apex, it was the exact same thing. Everyone played against everyone versus now they have secret matchmaking inside of public games. So if you're like an average or like an above average player, you're literally only going to be playing against like masters and preds and then like, you know, a bunch of like diamonds and stuff versus, you know, if you're like an absolute bot at the game, you're only going to play against absolute bots. Like my girlfriend, my girlfriend has close to a 1KD Right. And whenever she plays, she only plays against people who are super, super, super low KD versus when she plays with me and she has to play my lobbies with like a 4 KD. You're only facing masters and predators. So and, and this is basically, you know, starting to turn into a rant. But what I'm trying to say is that when Timmy dropped this insanely massive game, the matchmaking was putting him with everybody, not just the people that we would get today. So if you're finding that you're struggling with high damage games overall, to some degree, to most of the degree, it's gonna be your skill level, but also it's going to come down to the fact that matchmaking is just kind of like really broken right now. And until Apex fixes it, I think a lot of people are gonna be struggling not only to drop high damage games, but they're definitely going to be struggling to drop high kill games as well. Now, with that being said, let's hop into it and let's start breaking down what Timmy's doing. Now, right off the rip, just one of the, you know, best things that you can do whenever you're landing anywhere is try to hit yourself off of the side of a building or the, the side of something really tall. Because as you saw right there, Timmy was able to just drop down instantly and get into, um, into the fight right away. Now, something that's amazing to see that, you know, most players would just never really do is as soon as you're realizing that you're taking tons and tons and tons of damage, you need to be taking yourself out of that gunfight. I just realized that that triple take is actually a sniper. Zuthus is insanely old. Nasty shot. Let's actually back this up a little bit. Because there actually is a handful of things that, that are happening here after that. So. Timmy grabs his gun. Instantly looking to do damage, but you notice how Timmy's also stepping backwards, right? He started off in the middle of the room, but he's been stepping backwards this whole time towards the door. And the reason why is this way, right now, he's able to just leave whenever he wants, as opposed to what a majority of the players would do is they'll jump into the fight and they'll stay in the middle of the fight and they basically lock themselves in and they commit their body to being stuck in just a really bad situation even though it's timmy you know is a phenomenal player you can't be perfect 24 7 you can't hit every headshot you can't avoid every shot coming towards you and you definitely just can't control everything that's happening inside your match so you need to give yourself the ability to back off in case anything bad happens. And this is exactly what's happening right here. Gives himself the ability to back off. Knows that he can get that quick, easy kill. Goes for it. Backs off. Again, right? Reset your body out of bad fights. Give yourself the chance to keep playing by recovering when you're starting to lose. As well, it's Timmy is always looking to be doing in damage. Right? If Timmy's in a spot that's safe, like above here, why wouldn't you look to be shooting your gun? 
right here if we're listening we hear someone in our ear getting rezzed which means that one of these guys is one shot as soon as he sees that that, that i think it was a ballistic no it was a bangalore as soon as he saw that that bangalore was on shield he knew okay it's gonna be the gibraltar who's inside the bubble that's one hp which means that he can go and get that super super easy kill notices he has no ammo has to completely back off and as soon as he gets that he's gonna come right back in you also notice how that bangalore right here didn't make any kind of play against him you notice right here right reset that bangalore still has ammo she's shooting but what is she doing right now she's waiting she's reacting she's just looking for something to happen she's not in control of anything she's just watching versus it's timmy realizes i can't be in this fight it's not working for me i'm going to back off and now i'm going to come back to making all the plays right when you're the one making the plays it is significantly easier compared to when you're someone who's sitting there and watching Yo, everything that's going on what was that? <laughs> I can't my throat. in my throat. <laughs> Sorry, Chad, there's something in my throat, man. <clears throat> hey, uh. Yeah, it's the virus Hazel. that you have, bud. Oh, ha Hazel, yeah. Hazel, 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 Wreck. Thank you for the 20 gifted sub. Thank you for correcting me on that. Thank you so much for the 20 gifted sub. Yeah, I love, it's I Hazel, love right? Timmy's. I love Timmy's fucking reactions or like the little effects he puts on his streams. All right, getting back down into it. It's Timmy's always on the prowl. Remember, right? We're always looking to be putting in damage. Whenever we're doing damage, people are going to want to back off. If they stay in that fight, they're going to die, right? So as long as you're putting in damage, which should be clicking in your head is he's going to take himself out of the gunfight. He's going to like look away. And that gives you the chance to run through the open for free, right? How many times have you ran through the open and you got absolutely pissed on? Probably, probably every single time you go and play Apex, right? We need to make sure that we do damage before we push up. It's Timmy gets in damage that forces these players to look away. Otherwise, you're going to get pissed on. And it's Timmy goes, okay, I'm moving up as soon as I put in damage. I'm not going to wait and see what they do. I know that they're going to look away. So I know that I have to push right now up he's gonna keep moving away this guy's one shot so i'm just gonna jump on him like there's nothing this guy can do he's literally the easiest kill ever get that kill he missed the gold mozambique thank you Faisal. i appreciate it why didn't he grab the gold mozambique Maybe he didn't see it. Doesn't want to be in a bad fight. He's just going to give himself a little bit of wiggle room or, you know, some ability usage so that he can keep moving around in a weird situation. 2v1 there. Nothing crazy, right? But if we ever find ourselves in a bad situation, don't stay there. So many people stay in bad fights right there. He, he, the simplest thing, bro. Throw lift and just leave, right? Or throw lift and avoid the nades. Throw lift and just be hard to hit. Right? If you're ever in a situation that you're uncomfortable in, do what you can to leave. You don't need to be in bad fights. I see way too often people get nade spammed and they just stand on all the nades and they try to outshoot the person who's nade spamming them. Right? Or like a whole bunch of people start swarming them and they just stay there for no reason. Also, I just realized that Spitfire is also um, a heavy weapon instead of a light a light weapon. So this is this is a super old video. Wait, why did I jump out? Hello? <laughs> oh yeah, dude! And fucking Trident's used to go zooming off of jump pads. Like it gives a voice line when you jump out. It just got it like auto picked me out. Oh shit. Yeah, this is super old, bro. Oh, maybe he doesn't. Drops right in the open. Does he stay there? No, what does he do? He focuses on getting out of the bad situation. Get himself to cover. He's going to recover. And if someone's in the open, he's going to take advantage of that. 
right? He didn't have an angle. Oh, you see that guy top right corner of your screen? There's no way he doesn't see that. God, bro. Look, dude, there's no... There's no, like, bloom on bullets back in the day. Crazy. Horizon was actually so broken this season. I think this is season 7. Anyways, that guy right there on the right side was 100% split, right? So that's a super easy focus. Again, as long as there's someone in front of you, don't just sit and kind of, like, react to what's going on if you can avoid it. Always be looking to be you the one doing damage. You be the one peeking that person. You're going to try damage 100%, but if you're the one that's always peeking first, you're always going to be getting damage first. In a really bad spot. See how, it, see how it's Timmy? Hold on. Get the skill, get the skill, get the skill. Whiffing. You know that right now his heart rate was going. He's like, no, dude, I'm not going to lose this game. But you notice how right here, it's Timmy notices. Oh, shit. Okay, I got one guy. Oh, shit, there's a guy on my side. I'm in a 1v2. You have two options right now. You either fight the guy on the left or you fight the guy on the right. There's no fighting both. Or, I mean, technically, you could leave this fight and maybe try to create some space. That would have been the better idea because as you saw, he completely, like, he got put to almost 1, one HP and nearly died because of it. Right? But notice how he just positions his body to take the 1v1. Right? He puts the tree on his right side and that gives him cover from that one individual. Right? Our challenge, this person also Spitfire back in the day. I, I'm pretty sure this is season seven when Horizon released. I'm pretty sure. I could totally be wrong. Right? But Spitfire was absolutely disgusting. It had barrel. It had an insanely massive magazine. Crazy stock. It had almost no recoil. And it was one of the most broken guns at the, at the time. On top of that, Horizon's lift had no bloom. So you know right now when you take the lift and you shoot how your bullets go everywhere? There was, there was none of that when Horizon was released. So literally, the most broken legend in the game at the time. Now you can take the 1v1. Damage, cover. Damage, cover. Damage, cover. Every time you go back into cover, you keep your health up. Right? It's the people who just stand in the open the whole time who continue to get pissed on. Like that Bloodhound. He was in the open the entire time, so there's no way that he's not going to get shot. Same thing right here. As soon as you get hit for 50, why do you keep standing there? It's, it's just the, it's the most uh, heartbreaking thing to see. It's like people realize that they're stuck in a bad spot and they just stay there. They keep looking at what's going on. And again, this is just another testimony to what matches were like back in the day, right? You fight someone now, you hit them for five damage and they leave, they run away from you. It's not like that anymore. Right? So whenever we're taking damage, make sure that you just stop looking. Or if you're going to go take a gunfight with someone, make sure that you position your body in a way that you will be able to go back into cover. Like, it's Timmy. He had that tree. He was able to take that fight. What you'll notice is that if it's Timmy, I hope, I hope this is what we'll notice as we get deeper into the game. But as we start taking, or as we take gunfights, you will probably not see it's Timmy play in a spot where there's zero cover. Now, there is one exception for this, just like how we saw right back here when he lifted up. When you are the person to make the first move, right? So let's just say you're in cover, the guy's in cover, and you swing out into the open. When you're the one to make the first move, you have the advantage of being unpredictable. You can go left, you can go right, top, bottom, backwards, forwards, you can do 360s, you can do anything. That guy doesn't know, but you do. In your head, you're thinking, he's right here, I just need to do something to look at this spot. And you can do that from any direction that you want, and you're unpredictable. Now, the only reason why It's Timmy might commit to something like this is, one, this guy's in a res, so he can't really do anything. Two, if he doesn't get the, the knock here, then this guy's just going to live for free. Three, It's Timmy's the one making the move. So he, It's Timmy is unpredictable right now, right? He could be coming from over here, from right here, from the left. From right here, there's so many spots that Timmy can come from that's going to give him the advantage. As well, when you're the one who's making the play, when you're the one going to people, you can always move back. Remember, if you're losing a fight, you can always leave. So if it's Timmy starts losing, he can drop down. 
as well the hip fire on the spitfire was absolutely disgusting and there's no reason that you shouldn't ego challenge every single person that you fight when your gun is literally a care package weapon now like i said going forward we shouldn't see it's timmy dropping into fights um, if there's no cover that he can play with or if he does find himself in a situation where there's no cover He's going to back off and he's going to create space Always be looking to be putting in damage. That was just the perfect all actually right on top of both of them I think the craziest part about this game is the fact that it's Timmy actually reses his teammates multiple times Right moving into cover don't be afraid to take damage so that you can get damage, but always make sure that you're moving your body into places that you can play safely. Right? Cover usage. He's about to get put into the open. What does he do? He creates space. He makes himself hard to hit. Such an awesome pad, dude. Gets himself out of that bad fight. And now he can start working his way back into the fight. Default skin, brand new Bloodhound. Probably his first day playing the game. Kraber? Oh my god, that's so lucky. Guy is absolutely oblivious. Zero audio. Wow. Now, that right there is 100% pure aim skill. 1000% pure aim skill. And if you guys did not know, the platform that you play on actually makes an insane difference to how you play the game. On console, whether it's PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, fucking GameCube and Game Boy, you're going to have an insane amount of input delay, which means that doing anything aim-related is going to be pretty difficult. Now, one of the easiest ways that you can get around that is just switching to PC. I know, it probably sucks. It's pretty expensive for most people, but right now is the cheapest and easiest easiest time to make the switch to pc apex gaming pcs currently has a 15 percent off flash sale on all of their builds including my custom builds on their website if you guys have been thinking about making the switch to pc to play apex to stream to record to make videos right now is definitely the time to do so we've got three custom build pcs optimized for apex at a low level apex at a medium level and apex streaming and recording at a high level level without any hiccups on top of that not only do you get a 15 percent off discount right now but you also get up to 250 dollars off with my code coach giving you a whopping discount on your first pc the links will be in the description down below and if you have any more questions feel free to dm me on discord well, let's get back into the video yeah being on pc like aiming gets super super easy when i made the switch from xbox i was top like i was like top 20 pred and I made the switch and I was like, bro, dude, aiming literally feels like I have aimbot right now because like you just like, it, it just, it's so, so smooth. On top of that, you're not limited to 60 frames. Like it's Timmy right now playing with like close to 200 frames. You notice how again, where's it's Timmy right now? I want you to leave a comment right now. Where is it's Timmy? On cover. He's literally standing right next to cover. The cover is literally on his screen. The higher in skill level you go, not only does your aim get better, not only does your game sense get better, but your positioning gets significantly better. One of the hardest parts in Apex is not taking damage or not getting absolutely pissed on. And the easiest way to do that is by always making sure that there is something that you can use to keep yourself safe, right? Majority of the time it's going to be cover. So if you can stand a couple steps off of your cover, right? Instead of standing like a mile away, whenever you start getting shot, you can instantly step back into cover versus this guy right here versus all of the people that we've been seeing throughout this match. What do they do? They stand right in the middle of the open with nowhere to play. The best rule of thumb that you can have with positioning your body is playing on the corners of every piece of cover. Move from corner to corner corner to corner corner to corner and then that way it's one step off to peak one step back in into safety air package hitbox that sucks all right right next to cover whoa oh, i thought the guy was like right on him cover 
Peek, info. Cover. What is that guy doing? Standing just right in the open the entire time. Reset. Heal up. Hopefully. No shot. No shot. He's oblivious. This guy's this guy's blind and deaf. Reset, disengage, heal up. And now he can get right back into putting in damage. He's gonna wait for that door to open. He's gonna step back. Oh, maybe not. He's actually gonna break the door for some reason. Reset. Be the one to re-engage. We're currently at 4,000 damage, 14 kills. There's the 4k. Lands right in the open. Dude, toxic. Enemy removed from the data pool. Armor swap. Turn. Look at this guy. He just he keeps losing him on the scope, bro. He's gonna take left. Nope. Always look at where people should be. Always look at where people can be. Right? So if you just take lift, look at your lift. Make sure he doesn't take it. Right? If you come from a door, make sure you're looking at that door so that they don't go through there. People will typically follow the route that you take so that they can be chasing you and be right on your right on your tail as um, quick as possible. Dude. Imagine if he hit that. Also, notice how Timmy is constantly engaged. Timmy's always looking at people. He's never looking away. He's never hiding. He's always looking to be doing in damage. And then when he has that opportunity, right, he sees someone in the open. He gets a break. That's an opening for Timmy to go and push. What I find a lot in my coaching sessions, whether I'm doing gameplay reviews, whether I'm actually playing with players, whether we're doing 1v1s in the range and we're looking at their fundamental mechanics and shooting and positioning is that they never look. They're never active. They sit in a spot. They hear the person running around them. They hear the person standing in the open, but they don't shoot. They're never looking to be doing damage. And because of that, there's never a reason or there's never an opening for people to push. So you guys need to make sure as you're going forward and as you're practicing, always be the one to be looking at others. Never be the one getting looked at by others. It's always going to be harder to react to someone pushing you than it's going to be for you to push them. It's a really important mindset you need to keep in mind. Enough time to bake some scones. Kill me all. Thanks, jump jets. What do you guys think about the new camera placement? We got this brand new BenQ Zowie monitor, and the monitor's bezel, like the monitor is way bigger than like I thought it would be, and it actually doesn't fit on my stand right behind my monitor anymore, like this little like arm okay. that holds the camera. So I have to put it right on my monitor. Now it's in front of my face. I don't know if I like that. I feel like you see my face. I feel like you see my face more. I liked it better when I was like a little bit smaller. Um, can I resume? Um, I see. Let's take a res here. Let's go with that one. Coming up on a 5k, bro. Like, dude, we're only halfway through the game and he's got 4,700 damage. Oh my. My favorite streamer is a liar. My money getting green and my demeanor clean and sweet them with the mop. This guy tipped from four dollars and twenty cents. I can for twenty there, bro. Making bloody butt shots. Bro, shots drop it like it's hot. The Rick is Rick. They give it a four twenty, my man. You used to never be able to do this. They actually removed. I forgot about this, bro. Dude, there used to be so many balloons on this map, and they removed almost all of them. Look, balloon all the way back here. That's removed. This balloon is removed. There's a balloon out over here that got removed. They removed a majority of the balloons because you could just like third partying in ranked was so bad. Oh my god, I totally forgot about that area. I used to love playing ranked here, bro. Dude, Olympus used to be my favorite ranked map. I loved it. Everyone hated it though because it was too open. I loved it, bro. Dude, when Olympus released, I was top 20 Apex Predator. And what we used to do is we would play Gibraltar and we would play Gibraltar and Crypto. 
And what would happen is we would like early rotate to zone and then we would wait for people to rotate through the open. And because Gibraltar was meta, because the map was so open at the time, there was like very few legends that you could pick. I think Horizon was like the newest legend at that time. She was actually. We would just wait for people to run into the open. We'd shoot them. They would bubble. I would Gibby ult them. And then we would crypto ult them. And the crypto ult would break the bubble, hit everyone for 50 damage. And then the Gibby ult would just wipe the entire team. And that's how we hit top 20. That's, that's how we held top 20 Apex Pride. We would just wipe teams with crypto Gibby ult mid game. All right, right now, right? I'll back up a couple secs because, you know, I kind of in interrupted right here. You're shooting this guy. But Timmy, I think there was an audio cue or something for him to know that there was a team here, right? Again, who's peeking who right now? Timmy's peeking them. They're not peeking him, right? So if Timmy can just always start off by being the one to shoot first, he's always going to have the advantage of hitting the first shot and also leaving first. So he's going to create an advantage and then he's going to keep the advantage by leaving. Really good damage. Good charge rifle shot. He's like, okay, I'm taking damage. I'm going to reset. And off damage. He should want to be pushing forward. Now he's moving up. That guy has to look away so he can run through the open for free. He's going to cover that distance. Secure an easy kill. Maybe get the armor swap here so he can get back fighting. There it is. Now he's going to get back to fighting. He's looking. He's trying to gather info. Idiots who just run through the open. I I wish, bro. I wish I was on PC when when season seven when like matchmaking was like this, dude. Here's the reset. Why you look at me like that, bro? Deal. Oh, if he hit that, bro. The recoil looking up is so easy. There's there's no recoil when you look up. It just basically just stays in the same spot. No. It's there's obviously a recoil, fast. but it's significantly easier. I couldn't strike that in time. Duck go quack disconnected. Poor guy. He didn't quit though. Right, but you notice, right? It's Timmy. If you're if you're the one to be pushing up, you're gonna be the one to be getting in that first initial damage. Thanks, jump jets. You always want to be the one to make the first move. Probably drop the Kraber would be a good idea. He probably would have dropped a 10k if he had dropped the Kraber and he picked up that Turbo Havoc with like 400 energy ammo. But when you're locked in like this, you really don't even think about those little things. Now, something that's super important. The entire game, right? He's been focused on purely getting kills. Now that it's the end game, round three, there's only three teams left and he's got a 20 bomb. He he knows that he's popping off right now, right? So what he's going to essentially just be doing is focusing on getting himself into a game winning position. If he knows that everyone's on the bottom of the map, why would you put yourself on top of everybody if you don't need to be, right? Now it's really important that he focuses again, right? On winning this gunfight or winning this match. So if he can do that by just getting one high ground two, a position that's hard to push because there's lots of open space between and three, a spot that kind of just looks at everyone, he's going to have a much easier time um, in this next portion of the map versus his opponents who are going to be maybe a little bit more, a little bit more squished in and in like some more awkward um, situations and positions. Yeah, bro, you want... No, drop the Kraber. You have one shot, bro. Hey, amigos. This dude's not with us. Oh, let's go to kick. At most, you're going to hit a triple headshot collat. And you're going to do 600 damage. At most. There you go. Smart boy. He's smart. He's going, you know what? I, I need to win this game. There's no reason to have a Kraber with one shot. It's useless. Now, think about it, right? Where are you positioned right now, Mr. It's Timmy? High ground. It's going to be hard for people to move up. 
If you get damaged, it's easy to drop down. If people get damaged, it's hard to climb up. Takes damage, goes back into cover. Easiest thing that you can do. Just focus on always looking. The other team over there too? Now, the fact that he's only, again, like six bats, only six bats, that's a lot overall. But when you're in a situation where you're not really going to be there. pushing anyone, it can be kind of hard when you're taking this, like, poking battle. Because you're going to be constantly healing. Alright. Now, we have to keep in mind that we are a duo in a trios match. Right, so, at, at this point also, like, let's keep in mind, we know that It's Timmy is on a completely different level. It's Timmy can easily go and wipe all of these different teams, right? Like, he could just walk up and go wipe both teams if he wanted to. But he knows that he's got one of the best guns right now for farming. He's got a Spitfire that is kind of like a, like a makeshift G7. You can just tap it and it works really well. And he's got a 30-30 that when you charge it up, you hold that ADS, it hits really freaking hard, especially at range. Right, so right now, It's Timmy... He knows that he can go wipe these teams, but he's going to just play this farm game where he's going to just continuously hit people over and over and over again, and he's going to work his way up another 3,000 damage. But let's pay attention to how he does that, because that's really important. Keep in mind, even when he's winning, he's not going to push these teams. All right? So just keep that in mind. Realistically, you would want to go push teams when you're winning. But because he's trying yeah, to hit there. this like really high damage game, he's not going to do that right now. Place tight to the cover. It's easy to move in. Swap it for that gold spitfire, my man. You don't even have a gold spitfire. Or grab that um, grab that light gun. I forgot that you could get gold weapons in the care package, bro. That's how old this game is. Or like that's how uh, that's how far that we've come. We've gone from getting red weapons, only red weapons, to or my bad, getting like golden red weapons to like only getting red weapons. All right. Also, notice how he positions his head right above right here. Right. He stands far back so that when he crouches, his whole body goes into cover. All right. You see that? So whenever we're peeking people, we want to really make sure that we're playing tight to cover. And when we're positioning ourselves, we position our, our body and we position our team in a way that is going to make it hard for other players to push us. Right now, everyone's running through the open. That's why It's Timmy isn't playing all the way in the bottom down here. He could easily play here, but it makes it easy for a team to swing him from either direction. And it also makes it easy... For people to see him. It's very little cover. Right here, it's really hard to get pushed. I'm literally, I literally can't see any of them, man. Now, that team in that right building is going to all have to, like, funnel out pretty much at the same time. So, hard focusing this right team versus focusing this left team is going to be more ideal for them. Oh my god, I'm just choking at this point. What can we play next? We play at that rock over there. Shoot the team on our left. Something else, something else for people to kind of think about, whether you're playing mouse and keyboard or whether you're playing on a controller, is when you're shooting at range and people are playing cover, don't so much try to shoot people, try to shoot where they are. Shoot the hitbox that they're standing in, as opposed to trying to shoot their hitbox, because you're more than likely going to land shots within that area and then actually hit that player as opposed to trying to hit that very, very specific hitbox. A lot of people, they try too hard to track perfectly what's going on and where people are. But you notice right here, 
Maybe not right there, but notice right over here. He's not going to really track the player, but he's going to shoot within this area right here. He's not shooting this. He's shooting this. Same right here. He's going to shoot here. And then those shots are going to land in this area. And if that player's standing there, those shots are going to land on that guy. Right, so that's just one of the bigger tips that you can... I love how he just drops him a phoenix. That's awesome. Oh, they just took the battery, bro. They stole his battery. Oh, my God. Oh, no. But that's one of the bigger tips that you guys can do is shoot where players are. Don't shoot players. Use his lift here, maybe? Nope. Just runs it. I would have probably used lift in the open and kind of used it like a little crappy jump pad to just be a little bit harder to hit. And then maybe you wouldn't have had to, like, use your your battery. Now, again, right? I want you to kind of, whenever we look at, like, people who are fighting, look at It's Timmy's body placement compared to everyone else's body placement. Right? Is It's Timmy playing super tight to cover? Or are the opponents playing super tight to cover? Is It's Timmy standing really far off the cover and he's getting hit a lot? Or are other players standing really far off cover and getting hit a lot? Practicing keeping your body really, really, really close to the corners that you're playing on is super important the higher level you go because players are going to hit more shots and you need to be able to go back into safety as soon as possible. Our neighbor pals, and we've got about a minute to find her. Taking fire. Nice, good shots. See these players here? You see how they keep standing right there while they're getting shot? Imagine if you peek, you're shooting your gun, you go back into cover. All of those shots are going to be forced to miss you because you're not there. And then you re-peek. You shoot your shot, you go back into cover. You can still shoot your entire magazine by going in, out, in, out, in, out, right? But every time you go back in, whatever, when that guy's trying to shoot his whole entire clip, he's going to miss a good portion of those shots. So right now, people could be making It's Timmy miss his shots by just shoot a couple, go back in. I'm out, shoot a couple, go back in. But they don't do that. They just stand there. And they keep getting hit over and over and over again. Thirty seconds until the ring closes. You like cutting it close, huh? I dig. Super far off his cover. He could have just peeked from the corner. It's Timmy doesn't have any nades, but he does have an alt. Let's kind of look at our map right now and where people need to move. We have one team playing right over here on this rock. We also have another team playing way over here. Who do you think needs to move first? It's Timmy. Actually, this team way out over here. They probably need to move first, right? This team here, he needs to move last. They're the closest to the middle of the zone. So they're actually the safest. So it's going to be this team over here needs to move first. Then it's Timmy needs to move. Then this team. So this team here is going to be a main focus point for both of these teams, right? They're going to be in the open. Everyone's going to try and focus them. Because this team is getting focused, it's going to make it really easy for let's just go t Timmy's team one, team two, and team three. It's going to make it because team three is going to be stuck out here in the open. Team two should look over here at team three, making it easy for Timmy to rotate and focus team two while team three is getting shit on. And because this team's getting shit on and this team gets wiped, Timmy can just do an easy wipe on this team here. That's that's what should technically happen. Right? If we can force that team to fight the other, we're going to be better off. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We got to play the shed. Focus the team on the left. Shoot the team on the left. Yep. Focus the team that's in the better position. Get them to look at the other team. We're going to we're going to play slow. We're going to we're going to we're going to do everything we can to shoot the team on the left here. 
way too early. That got thrown way too early. Shoot the team on the left, shoot the team on the left. Don't push them, just shoot the team on the left. Oh, that team already rotated. What? How did no one notice that? Uh, Timmy's pushing up while he's broke. Okay, team on the right too. I probably could have, like, literally popped the battery on that rock. Yeah. Solid. When no one's looking at you, then you can stand in the open and you can commit. Alright, but if someone's looking at you, make sure that you move back to the cover. Self-res, bro. OG self-res. Man. That's crazy, bro. No, I could have gotten the 10k, man. I really could Probably. have. I could have gotten a 10k this game. I'm fucking trolling. <laughs> I'm trolling. Oh, if I, shot the, I should have shot the down, guys. You probably could have dropped a 10k, but I realistically, he didn't really 10K. have the ammo to do that. Now, getting good at Apex can be very difficult, especially when you don't know what you need to be practicing. So that's why every single week we host an in-person class in our Discord server and on our website that you can join where you'll submit your VOD clips, a lot like how It's Tammy kind of submitted his clip to YouTube. You'll submit your clips and as a group, we'll go over your clips together and we will break down what you're doing right as well as what you're doing wrong and how you need to be focusing your gameplay to develop your skills more effectively or efficiently, both actually. As well on our website with our VOD review classes every single Thursday, we record each individual week and we also upload that to the website. So if for whatever reason you can't show up or you don't want to show up a specific day, that's totally cool. That class is still going to be available for you on the website and you can go back and watch it whenever. As well, all of the classes from previous weeks and months are also live on our website and you can always go back and binge watch tons of content on that site. If you want to learn more about that, the link is in the description down below on my website, thedistrict.pro. And if you have any questions, please feel free to message me on Discord. Now that's going to be all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit like and subscribe and we will see you in our next week's video.